Hello everybody! Uh, so today I thought we would talk about the CV and I can go over the CV I use to apply to oral surgery residency in hopes of providing kind of a template for the rest of you uh, writing your CV for the application, especially if it's the first CV that you've written, which it was for me, and I didn't really have a good template to go off of when I was doing it and I was hoping this could help some of you. Or for those that are not yet to the point of applying, hopefully it can give a few ideas of things you can do in dental school that you can list on your CV in preparation for applying to a residency program. So let's get started. This is the CV I use to submit with my oral surgery application. Uh, I basically took out all names and addresses of places just for the sake of being somewhat anonymous on this platform. This is where my name was, my address, email, phone number. I listed my education immediately after that. Um, I listed the degree that I was going to get and listed my major and minor in undergrad, followed by my leadership positions. And this includes a position that I had in undergrad. I included a brief description of the position below and kind of the year that I did that specific thing. And essentially I listed um, that I was a president of the class for a year. I founded this club with my best friend in dental school called the Diversity Club and served as a chair of that. And I had some participation in my oral surgery club at the dental school as well. And then my undergrad experience was with being a essentially like a teaching assistant that was somewhat independent for a year as well. Then I go into community service and this I had a hard time uh, putting together because I had these projects that I did on my own, but I was also a volunteer. So I ultimately decided to make them into two separate categories. I have my own self-organized projects and then just places that I volunteered. Uh, some of these places that I volunteered, I started volunteering at in undergrad and I just kept volunteering throughout dental school. There's one place down here that I volunteered only in undergrad and I honestly probably should have deleted this. I put this on here just to beef up the CV, but now looking at it, like this has nothing to do with dentistry or with oral surgery, so I should probably cut that out. Here I described the projects that I organized. I think this is really nice to have if you do do your own project because it shows that you put in more effort um, into something and accomplish something. I think this is good to include as a separate section just to catch their eye kind of thing. And then as part of the, like, the volunteering section, I also had these committees that I was placed on. I think some of them I might have volunteered to be on. I can't remember, but these committees are not really volunteering i mean they're voluntary but i didn't consider them um like helping the greater good if that makes sense and so i just made them their own separate section under university service and these are just the committees that i was on during this one year in 2018 and then i obviously put in a little description of what the committee does essentially after that i put my employment i did not work in dental school, but I did have several professional experiences, so I listed those here. I listed my two externships here. I did not include how long the externship was. I probably should have specified that just because my externships were longer than a traditional externship, so it would have been nice to specify, I think, but I had the name of the, uh, the residency here that I went to, essentially, and then presentation that I attended, a couple of classes that I took, and that I was a tutor in dental school as well and I also included that I was a teaching assistant in undergrad I also had other employment uh, opportunities in undergrad that were mostly fast food restaurant type things and I didn't think that was super relevant to oral surgery so I did not include those things on here then I talk about my presentations. One of these was a poster that I presented at a couple of different places and then these other presentations were um, to essentially like describing dental specialties and stuff at a couple of career fairs that I went to. And so I listed those as well and I presented it with a couple other people and that's why there's a lot of black on here. 
Um, and I listed their names on here too, obviously, because they were part of the presentation. I jumped into research experience. Now, I did not have a published paper at the time of ap applying to oral surgery. There were a couple on the docket, and I think one of them ended up being published. This first project I was on, I don't even remember the title of this paper, honestly, but I think it got published at some point. Um, but it was the pathology department writing it, and I just helped out with that. So I did get questions about these in my interviews, but uh, I guess it goes to show that you don't need a published paper on your CV to get interviews and to get accepted. After that, I jumped into honors and awards. I listed all the awards I got in dental school up until I applied for residency. And then I also listed a couple of um, dean's list scholarship type things for undergrad as well. I didn't go into detail describing these because I don't want the CV to be longer than it has to be. And I think this, this looks good looking at it now. I don't think I would have expanded on this any further. And then the last two things I was recommended to put on here by my dental school, uh, saying which language I speak, if I speak additional languages besides English, and then professional affiliations. And honestly, I don't see why I put this on here or why they had me put this on here because I think this is pretty much automatic for all dental students and then for anybody that does research. If you want to present it, you kind of have to become a member of one of these things. Uh, so I don't think this is super necessary to put on here. So I probably would have cut this out. All in all, I think I'm happy with this CV that I made and submitted. Obviously it worked, I matched into residency. But looking at it now, I probably would have condensed things. Like I would try to condense this poster presentation to the, essentially to the research experience that it belongs to under here. I would probably remove some of these, like this for example, undergrad experiences that are not directly related and just try to make this a little bit shorter. I think a couple pages is probably ideal just to retain the attention of your reader. Anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you do have any questions about this or about anything else related to oral surgery or dentistry or medicine, just go ahead and write a comment and I'll try to answer it in a timely fashion. It's always hard with being in residency, but I will try my best. I hope you guys have a good day.